And it's a free application. Sorry about that. It's a free application, um, which you can download from breesync.de slash osx slash tinkertool.html. I'll put the link to that to the right of the video. So this is just an application that can allow you to get hidden features that is in um, the operating system, but it just isn't really readily available. So just go here to download. And then you can just download it here. So after you've downloaded and installed it, when you open it up, hold on, you'll come to this page. And so here you can just have different things that you can use. Use striped background, I'm not really sure what that is. But like maximum number of label lines for like these things here, so you could have like one or two. Show selected path, disable desktop features. Desktop features, I'm pretty sure it's just like double clicking on the desktop or secondary click. And these things will come up. You can also edit things with a dock. So let's say I could disable the three dimensional glass effect and just click relaunch dock. Up. Oh, that was in your dock out. So just wait for it to relaunch. And as you can see, you have this 2D dock now. And if you want to go back, you just uncheck. And this is a free application. And then there's like general things. So place scroll ends. Like I'll show you right now. But I can't show you there. Um, just type something in Google. As you can see now, it's at both ends for one. Or I, I like together at both ends. In this one, it'll just fix automatically. You don't have to like relaunch the application. Screenshots, folders for it, all sorts of things here. You can deactivate dashboard from here. You can also enable dashboard developer mode from here, which can bring widgets onto the desktop. Applications, terminal things you can do here. Menu bar, you can add an eject button, like I have up here. And then there are special features you can use in Leopard. Disable the calculator feature. Di um, don't include dictionary entries. All sorts of things you can do with this. Change the fonts, font smoothing, login items from here. You can also change Safari things. And then you can just completely reset Tinker Tool. We'll reset your computer to how it was before Tinker Tool. So, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. And sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I've had a lot of homework. Bye.